Hello, I'm Greg. Welcome to my channel, Midnight Oil Software. And this is a follow-up video to the video I just did on how I made a typing dinosaur racing game in just five hours. Uh, I realized after I published the video that I left out a very important aspect of how I made that game. And specifically, I'm talking about how I did the cameras. So in this case, I am using a Cinemachine virtual camera with a target group. So a target group, you basically give it a list of targets and it will keep all of these targets in view. So in this case, I'm using the position mode of group center. There's also group average. And I have my virtual camera here that will follow my main dinosaur, which is the Triceratops, but it will look at the target group. So even if these guys get far away from each other, it will keep them both in the field of view and it will do it very smoothly and organically. It looks really cool. So to demonstrate that, I've actually gone into my brontosaurus here and I've really slowed down his base words per minute. So he's going to run really slow. This will allow me assuming I type fast enough to get way ahead of him. And you'll see how the camera will actually pull away to sort of zoom out, keeping both of the dinosaurs in the field of view. And then as they get closer together again, you'll see them zoom in and get even closer. So let me show you how that works. So I'm gonna start pulling ahead getting farther and farther away. And you see how the camera is zooming out. And now it's gonna zoom in as he gets closer to me. And I actually use this uh, technique in my Ninja Eggs, Eggs game. That's one of the first games I actually published, actually. Uh, I'll show you how. This is basically an Angry Birds type clone. Skip the tutorial. And let's do the kooky kangaroos level. Pencil power. <laughs> Mark Kistler always makes these little puppets in his drawing classes. So I like to include them in the game. So that pencil power is one of his favorite ones. All right. So we've got all of these kangaroos here and we've got my ninja egg. They are all part of a target group. So it wants to keep them all in the field of view and it's doing group center as it's positioning. Now, as I drag my egg and get farther away, you can see it zooms out. And then as he gets closer, you see it zooms in. So it's the same kind of deal, Leo, there. All right. So hopefully you found that interesting and informative. See how you can introduce the target group Cinemachine camera into your project for some interesting cinematography. Thanks so much for watching and good luck on your game development journey.